to say this is not glued down or no kind of spray. I hate when people are like, oh, I'm wearing this completely glueless. Well, I don't feel like it's glueless if you're putting a spray or something. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new, thanks for clicking on my video. So today, can we get into it? This hair right here is the star of the show. I'm gonna show you how it looks straight out the box. I'm gonna let you know what I did to style it and show you the fastest install I have ever done on a lace front wig. I am not even joking. So before we get into this video, if you are new, I would love to have you join the family. So please hit that subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so you know every time I upload. I do a lot of makeup content, a lot of beauty content, hair, nails, hauls, tutorials, a little bit of fitness sprinkled in as well. So if you're into that, you're gonna love this channel. If you wanna see, <laughs> you know, I gotta show off a little bit. If you wanna see how I got this hair slayed like this, stay tuned and keep on watching. All right, so this wig is from the brand Love Me Hair. You have seen them on my channel before. You know I love them. This is their undetectable invisible lace glueless 13 by four frontal lace wig and it has real HD lace. It comes with an elastic band that you can sew in, but I saw later that it's already sewn into the cap. It also comes with a wig cap and their standard scarf that they send with all of their wigs, as well as bobby pins, a baby hair brush, and some tweezers. This is 16 inches and the hair feels really, really soft, super silky. It is pre-plugged and it is in the body wave texture and look at that lace. It is so thin and it does not even look like it needs to be tinted at all. So you see the cap construction there. There's the standard two combs on the side, one in the middle behind the lace, and then you also have your comb in the back with your adjustable straps and then also your elastic band sewn in. I just wanted to show you guys again what this hairline looks like. I really was impressed with how they plucked it. Of course, you could customize it more, but for someone like me who doesn't like to do all that, I thought this was perfect. And it does come in a side part, but you can part it in the middle if you prefer that or the other side but this is exactly what I wanted. I couldn't help it. I had to try the wig on just to see how the lace would look against my skin. And I already knew that this was gonna be <laughs> one of my favorite wigs that I now have in my collection. Like, look at that. Like I said, you could pluck it more, but honestly, you don't have to. So this is very beginner friendly. And I have realized since I've started working with wigs that you pay for what you get. So the more you pay, the more it is going to be customized, the better the quality, the more realistic it's gonna look. But yeah, your girl is impressed and excited. So I washed the hair and I just slicked it back for you guys to see even more. I'm gonna keep showing off this hairline because I love it. For styling, I decided to put some mousse in it just to kind of help hold the curl because I am going to just put some loose curls in it to help it keep its wavy texture. And I feel like putting some products in it that help to hold the curl a little bit makes it last longer. So I let the hair air dry. Actually, it stayed for a couple days because I didn't have time to get to it. So now I'm just brushing it out, but you can see the slight wavy pattern there. And then I'm using my Paul Mitchell wax spray. I love using this, but I've learned you have to be really careful because it can add a residue to the hair. But this is just, again, to give it a little more texture and to help the curls hold. I use this in my hair too, and it works really well. It doesn't make it crunchy or sticky or anything like that. It just helps to mold the hair. So I showed you guys how I curl the wig a little bit. I couldn't, I'm not gonna sit here and show every single part of it, but each section I curl it and then I hold the curls up for a little while just to help it kind of set in place. The pieces in the back, I did a little bit bigger, so it took a little longer as far as holding the curling iron in the hair just to make sure it curled. 
but I'm never really worried about the back being super curly. It's mostly just the front. So I was getting kind of antsy and I wanted to get done and I wanted to get her put on. So you can see on the other side, I curled back away from my face and then I'm doing the same thing on this side. I also like using the wax spray because it helps to minimize flyaways and helps keep the hair smooth. All right, it is time to put this baby on. I have stared at her on my mannequin head for a couple days now. You saw me go through the process of unboxing. I washed her. I let her air dry and then I brushed her out and then I used a little bit of wax spray just to give it some texture and hold the curls. And then I curled it with my T3 and then we used a little bit of hairspray. So she is ready to be put on my head. I am not going to put on a wig cap, honestly, just because I don't like to. <laughs> I'm a little difficult. So I'm just gonna do like I normally do, put my hair in a low bun and then put my wig grip on top and hold, that'll help hold my bun down. And I always like to try to wear my wigs glueless. So we are gonna try to do that first. And then if that does not work, then I have a little bit of adhesive. I'll go ahead and spray her down. And we're gonna try to not make the mistake I always make, which is putting my wig too far back. Like we know you got a big forehead, quit showing it off. Because this is their invisible lace, I kind of feel like I don't need to tint it, but let's put it on and see. I love that it comes with an elastic band on the inside. So I am gonna put that down. This is crazy. I have never had a wig that I felt like matched this close to my skin tone and not had to do anything to. So this is what it looks like and I'm probably gonna have to shift, pull my wig grip back a little bit, but y'all, what lace? What are we talking about? That literally looks like my skin. I'm gonna shift my wig grip back just a little bit. So this is what it looks like without the lace cut. You can see my little hairs here in the front, but I think this is perfect. Like I'm not gonna have to do much to this at all. This is 16 inches. I feel like it's a little longer than that. That's a long 16, but we ain't mad about it because sometimes we get our wigs and they're a little shorter. So I probably should change my shirt might do that after I'm done styling just so you guys can see it so I'm trying to decide I'm just gonna cut the lace off first I don't need to tint this or do anything this is so awesome actually I'm gonna take this off I'm gonna cut the lace off I'm gonna tighten the straps in the back so that I can try to wear this glueless because I would love to be able to not have to apply anything to get this to stay down so I'm gonna go ahead and do that all right, outfit change, check. Now we ready. So I slid my wig grip back a little bit, cut the lace off. So now let's see what it do. And I realized I have to be careful with this lace because it is thin. And when I was initially trying this on, I actually ripped a little bit of the lace a little too far back. So this is how it is looking. Yes, it is too low on my hairline. I'm just trying to get an idea because right now, baby, we probably gonna wear her glueless. So this is what the sides look like. It is not completely covering my sideburns here, but that's okay because I can either put some baby hairs out or I can just kind of blend that in. Not a big deal. I probably am going to want this back. I did not pluck this or anything. So this is what the hairline looks like on its own. I didn't do anything to it. To say this is not glued down or no kind of spray. I hate when people are like, 
oh, I'm wearing this completely glueless. Well, I don't feel like it's glueless if you put in a spray or something. And my nuts, because I get mad about that when I see that. So are we going to spray this? Or are we just going to wear her? Because honestly, I want to put some powder and go. Like, look at how good this looks. I'm going to put a little bit of powder in my part. I don't think that these knots are pre-bleached, which is not a deal breaker for me because most of my wigs are not. I keep saying I'm going to bleach the wig. I'm going to bleach, not the wig, Lord. I'm going to bleach the knots and then I don't do it. So one of these days I'm going to actually do that. But for right now, I'm just going to put a little powder around this hairline. Oh, I kind of want to glue it down. Not glue it, but just use some adhesive. But I feel like it looks so good without it already. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to. I love when a wig says glueless and it is actually glueless like this hairline is just so flawless like imagined if i actually took the time oh do i want to to actually uh do i want to i kind of do i'm just doing this to go in and lighten the knots around the hairline to make it look a little more realistic so you can see that there helps a little bit I just plugged my curling iron back in because I do want to do a little tiny bit. But look at how, look at this volume. I never get this in my wigs. Oh, yes. See, I let it air dry instead of blow drying it to help it kind of keep its natural body wave pattern. And I think that made such a big difference. Don't let me start getting really good at these wigs, boo. What are we talking about? I do wish that the parting space was a little bit deeper. Four inches is not enough. I don't know why that is like the standard in some wigs because nobody parts there. Well, actually, I probably do. I've been doing a little more lately, but I'm going to just put a little bit of spray Just right here in the front to hold that down. And I don't have my blow dryer, so we're just going to let this air dry and let it do what it do. But this looks so good right now already. All right, that is it. I literally sprayed that little bit of spray in the front. I tied it down for a second and then I cut a little bit more of the lace off the front just because I had too much extra. Y'all, this wig is on and it is fire. I have never, if I would have laid this, like actually did the glue, melt it with the elastic band and all that, I probably wouldn't have even needed to put any powder, but I did it just to help in the front to help lighten up the knots more than anything else. This hair is so soft, but I'm just, I can't get over this lace. I've never, let me get close. I've never had, like, look at this. Look at this hairline. This, oh, crusty. This is not even sprayed right here. This is still not even glued down. Like, I think I put a little bit on this side just to help, but. From far away, you cannot tell me this is not growing out of my head. I don't want to hear it. Don't talk to me. This is it for the final look. There wasn't much to do to install this wig. It is a little expensive, but I do have a discount code Barbell Barbie. So that is going to help save some money. Let me look it up because right now 
I think she is on sale. She's running about 270 right now. Actually, let me get, hold on, 290. So right under $300, but y'all, I have so many wigs that I have bought on my own from this brand that I love. So to be able to get another one to try from them sending it to me, of course, always grateful. Thank you so much, Love Me Hair, but I will buy this anyway. I, <laughs> I bought most of my wigs from them anyway, so this is nothing new. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like how this hair turned out, let me give you some angles. Let me give you some angles. You know how you gotta be extra when you get your hair done. This is from the back. Again, 16 inches, but this feels really long for 16 inches. And then here's the other side. Oh, I love the volume and the texture of this wig. It's not too, too silky, but it's still silky. It's not like, I, mean, I just want to curl this. I don't know why. It's not, um, it's not a kinky straight or anything like that, but it just doesn't feel too, too, too soft that it's not going to hold. But anyway, guys, that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like how this hair turned out, and you're thinking about getting it, comment, let me know below. Or if you just want to say hey to your girl and give me a compliment, I'd appreciate that too. Thumbs up if you like this video. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.